Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. I'm glad I uh, got the results I was hoping for with the last video. Um, you know, I, I'm glad you guys watched it and got something out of it. I had a really, uh, really awesome comments, by the way. Thank you, every single one. If I haven't got back to you yet, I do plan on doing that. So I'm going to try my best to stay proactive in uh, communicating with you guys. So I wanted to talk about something today that a lot of us have problems with. Um, doesn't matter who you are. Well, I, I guess some people can do this easily. Some people can't. And that's talking to people. And you're probably wondering, well, we talk to people all the time. That's just a thing we do is talk to people. That's not exactly what I mean. So uh, when we talk about mental health, we talk about depression. We talk about uh, any anything in that realm. Um, sometimes it's hard to go out on a limb and be like, hey, I need help. Now, I, I'm the same way. I still have problems like every day. Like, man, I don't know if I want to talk about it. I, you know, I, I, I want to keep it bottled in and just keep my mouth shut. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it don't. Uh, from my experience, bubbling everything in is uh it's kind of dangerous and what i mean by that is eventually if you put too much soda into a can there's no more room it's going to spill over and that's kind of what happens with our emotions our thoughts and you know things like that uh eventually you can't take it and you have to pour it out and sometimes it comes out of like a panic attack uh going completely mad or worse um, some people are violent. Some people go into a suicidal uh, mode, which is not good, not ideal. Um, but the reason why, you know, a lot of people do this is because they're afraid of rejection. We're afraid of being called weak. And uh, that kind of goes along with the human psyche. We, we want to be, uh, we're kind of proud uh, a species. We're a proud species. Man. But if some of us don't want to engage in telling people how they feel because, hey, you're afraid you're going to get laughed at or mocked um, or you're going to be accused of just wanting attention. Now, does people actually do this to just to get attention? Yes, that does happen. Um, people do it all the time. Uh, you, you, we have narcissists like that that... Uh, try to use their emotions to gain something out of you. They kind of play with yours to make you feel sorry for them. Now, is this the case for everyone? No, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, you know, we, we talk about depression. Some people automatically think, oh, well, depression is just your girlfriend broke up with you or you got a bad grade uh, on your test. That's not exactly depression. Uh, that is a form of depression, but is mainly uh, just temporary. Now, real clinical depression is another thing entirely. Uh, this is something you can't escape. Something you have to deal with waking up, going to sleep, and going out through your day. Um, it's not fun. It's not fun. Especially if you've been diagnosed. And there's different levels of mental health uh, or depression that you're probably going to deal with. And sometimes little things makes it worse. Uh, it could be as something as easy as, I don't know, losing your keys, uh, losing uh, somebody in your life, um, uh, what, playing a video game and not getting the ending or not being good enough uh, for what you expected. You know, there's things like that, small things. But if you have clinical depression, it can stack onto all your other problems and it makes things worse for you going out through the day, which, you know, like I said, I deal with it every day. There's sometimes I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to engage. Um, I don't want to go to work because ultimately I think, hey, I'm, I suck. I'm, I, I think I'm a garbage human being and, um, I don't need this in my life. I want to be out of this life. That's that's what's dangerous about kind of keeping things in. Um, 
Now, you hear a lot of people say somebody commits suicide. Um, you hear a lot of people say things like, well, I never expected that out of him or her. Uh, they always seem so happy. Uh, they always fun to be around. That was my best friend. And the thing is, is like they didn't come out and be like, hey, I've got problems. They was afraid to go to the doctor or they did go to the doctor. They got prescribed medicines that made things worse. Um, in my experience, uh, I've been through several different types of uh, depression meds, anxiety meds, and you have to find out what one is good for you. So say if you go to the doctor, you get a counselor, you get a psychiatrist and all that stuff, and they start prescribing you meds. One thing I want to say is if you start feeling awful right away, you need to tell somebody, you need to tell your doctor, it's like, hey, uh, this is making me worse. Uh, Zoloft did that to me. Um, it made me worse. And they had to take me off of it. And it was a trial and error thing. They finally figured out what kind of medicine I could take that would make me feel better. And that's something you should do. Um, and some people, again, they, they may be new to the idea of getting help from a doctor. Their, only, their job is to help you. Now, we can say, just like any profession, there's some doctors It's just like, oh, okay, here's some uh, Latuda, here's some Xanax or whatever. I don't want Xanax does. I'm assuming it's, I, I don't know. They, they prescribe just to prescribe, just to get you out of their face. And that's why you have to find the perfect uh, person to take care of your issues. And it's not easy either. Um... You know, you can go through a dozen uh, counselors until you find the right one that connects with you. And you can also find this in your friends and your family. If they listen, if you have a support system of people that really care deep down on how you feel, then yeah, that that's more ideal, honestly. Um, it's always good to have some kind of uh, support system every day. It's, it, it is. Uh, somebody you can talk to. Sometimes it'd be as easy as getting on Xbox Live, getting on live chat while you're playing Modern Warfare 2, and just letting it go. And if, and if you know, you know. It, guys, back in my day when we played Xbox Live, Modern Warfare 2, the original one, you will know exactly what I'm talking about when you get on Xbox Live game chat. That is the Old West, and it was pretty crazy. But sometimes you got to find these things that help uh, new hobbies, like my hobbies. Pokemon cards and video games and music. I don't play music like I used to, but I want to get back into music. I started a new hobby of 3D printing and vinyl cutting, uh, which, you know, I used to do the vinyl cutting a long time ago. But, you know, I was finally able to invest in my own little workshop. And... Those things help. Having something to engage with to make you not think about those things, that does help. That does help. It can help with a number of things. Aggression, one, uh, you don't want to be violent. So playing a video game where you're killing people is it's better than doing it in real life, honestly. Uh, and don't kill people, okay? Don't do that. If you feel like you're going to hurt somebody, go to the hospital and get seen. Don't be embarrassed to be put in the mental ward. I've been in there four times. Four times. Is that embarrassing to me? No. Uh, it used to be. Used to be. Um, well, it was three times. And the fourth one was, well, not in order. Uh, I was in the ICU for swallowing a bottle of pills. And I had a tube going down my nose up into my stomach sucking them out and you know you had to do the activated charcoal so don't don't be embarrassed if you have to go to the hospital to get help to kind of get yourself and, and i'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie it does feel like you're trapped um because and sometimes sometimes when you get there they put you in with other people with different type of uh depression issues or mental health issues and they kind of treat it the same. But being in confinement does help you a little bit. 
Um, if I could say anything about it, it is, hey, there's people that's way more messed up than I am in the same building. Um, you know, some people, they say, oh, well, you got put in psych ward, so there you're a mental case and you're dangerous. No, that's not the case. Most of the time. I, I'm not saying that it's never the case because there are some people that go too far, honestly. Um, my reasons were suicide related. Um, you know, I went there. I didn't want to die. I did want to die, but I didn't want to die. And so I could find myself, you know, I went to the psych wards. Did it take me a few times? Yeah. Could that happen in the future? Yeah. But I know what to do now. Um, you know, it's hard to reach out to people. Uh, I know that the, the one thing you don't want to do is have a loved one that has everything going for them. They start acting weird, not coming around as much, secluding themselves. Then you find out months later that they're dead due to suicide. You don't want that. You don't. You know, my attempts looking now is like, hey, um, if I was to self-delete, what's going to happen to my wife? What's going to happen with my mom? What's going to happen with my friends, my family, my niece, my nephew? What's going to happen with them? What, how's that going to affect them? And I found out firsthand how it does affect people. Um, you know, it's not fun going into a funeral home and seeing your best friend in a casket. It's not, not fun. Um, you know, I have pictures of him hung up on the wall. And, you know, had some of the, some amazing things. And you, you question yourself. You kind of like, well, I should have done this. I should have been there. You kind of blame yourself. You go into this mode where you're just blaming your, blaming yourself for things that you could not really control. I mean, if it was going to happen, it could have happened anyways. What I mean by that is, I mean, uh, now, you could have been for, there for them, and they still done it. It's awful. It's awful. It really is. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. I hope I see you soon, and I hope you get something out of this. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, baby.